In this tutorial, I just want to quickly demonstrate the browser using the MPC Touch. Now, there's really no difference in how the browser behaves in the software, and there's really no difference in how it behaves in the MPC Touch. So, as you can see, it's still in the same software. You've got your filters, you've got your folders, drop down menu, all the same options I've already shown you when demonstrating the Renaissance, and the same for the studio. So the main difference when using the touch is how you interact with the browser. When using the Renaissance in the studio, you have to use the display screen to see where you are, and then you have to navigate with the cursor and the data dial. But when you're using the touch, of course, you can use the touch screen here. So first, to access the browser from the touch, you have to hold down Shift and hit Menu, and that will take you right into your browser. And then you want to make sure that you're in files. So I'm going to touch right here at the bottom left hand of my screen. And that will make sure that I'm in my files section and not in my sample browser. We'll come to that later. So I'm in files and that's equivalent to this section of the screen that you see here in the software. If I double touch here, this allows me access to all of my hard drives, files, and folders that are connected to the computer. So I can see um, my MPC drum content, my MPC library. And then I can scroll down and see all of my hard drives that are connected, my MPV portable, my samples drive, my Studio B, and my Time Machine backup. So that's the equivalent of me clicking here in the software, and you see the exact same list of things. So once I'm here, as you can see, everything else is just like in the software. Up here in the top right corner, you see my folders, and they're still assigned just like they were in the Renaissance tutorial. So if I touch the first folder, it takes me to my samples hard drive where I have a collection of great samples. And then folder two points to my pre-installed drum kits. And then folder five, remember I set that to go to my MPC 60 drums and the Renaissance tutorial. So all of those locations are saved in the software and have not changed. My filters are over here at the top left hand side of the screen. The first icon that you see here with the little document and it has a P on it, that's my project filter. And when I touch it, it will filter for projects. The next one is sequences. As you can see, there are no sequences. And then I have programs and now there are a lot of programs and I can use my data dial, touch the screen here, and then I can scroll through my programs or I can touch the touch screen and scroll up like on an iOS device. The next filter is samples, and you can see all the samples that are in this folder. And then all shows you everything that's inside this particular folder. Now there are icons here on the touch, very similar to what you saw in the software that identify samples from programs and things of that nature. So you see them down here on the left-hand side of the screen. But it's very similar to what we saw in the software with the icons representing samples, programs, sequences, so forth and so on. Okay. So let's load a program from the MPC Touch. First, I'm going to filter for programs. And I'll use the data dial this time and scroll down to find something I like. Then I just double touch the program I want to load. And just like that, those sounds are loaded onto the pads. I'm going to undo that with the undo button. So now there's nothing on the pads. Of course, I can load in samples. So I'll filter for samples. And as I scroll through, you can hear it auditioning each sample. And that's because auto audition is on and I can turn that on and off right here from the touch screen as well. So if I touch this, now it's off. And as I scroll, now you don't hear it playing the samples anymore. But if I want to hear a sample, I can touch this play button. And every time I touch the play button, select the sample, you can hear that sample play. Now, if I want to load an individual sample, I can just double touch the sample and it loads in. Let me load a few in. Let me load this kick. And now I have those samples loaded in, but they're not on any pads. Actually, uh, yeah, that last kick is assigned to that pad. I'm going to change that. So if I go to my sample pool by touching here, I'll see a list of the samples that I loaded into the MPC software. And if I want to hear those samples as I play through, I'm going to turn Audition back on to Auto. And as I scroll through, I can hear the samples again. And if I want to assign them to a pad, I just select the pad and then touch the sample. And then I'm going to go to this next pad and I'm going to assign the kick to that pad. I'm going to go back to the file tab here. And then if I touch right here where it says project, 
That'll allow me to see all of the programs, sequences, and all of the samples that are loaded into this particular project. And that's how you interact with your browser from your MPC Touch.